hardest parts of being in love with someone who's busy loving someone else is the unrequited love of it. But the bottom line, as a man and as a pagan and as a priest, I have the right to say, I don't care what you think. I'm going to continue loving you despite the fact that you've tantrums, despite the fact that you've run away, and despite the fact that you're fucking someone else. Now, I hate to be that bold and blunt, but that's the way it feels to most men. This is not a fairy fairy tale ending that God promised. This is your little plan that's blowing up on you. And it's not my fault. I did everything God asked me to. I did everything except in two situations. And the first situation was God said, be very careful what you say today. And I got that premonition. I got that warning. And I waited all day to do what he asked me. But then all of a sudden, the day had passed. And it was three in the morning. And I'm standing in an alleyway. And I'm literally taking a pee through freezing cold temperatures and seven layers of pants. Honestly, seven layers. It's amazing I could keep them up and could move it all. It's like the abominable snowman. But the reality was that you showed up and asked me a question of, can you help me? And it took me a minute because I wasn't fully cognizant. I had just woken up and I fucked it up. And I'm killing myself for that every single day. And then there's another time that things like that happen. I'm like, what the hell happened? So many different instances when you played in, then you haven't played. And it's killing me. Or was that the potential of it? Was that the reality of it? Was that the intent of it? Because if you want to know if a guy loves you, he will wait to the end of time for that loving kiss. He will wait and he will kill himself for that caress. And he will never let you go because he loves you like this. There's a difference between different types of people. So I challenge you in terms of how you got together with that fella. Did he really come on God's countenance? Or did he just show up at the right time that you blew something and didn't take your responsibility for doing it? And somebody sent him on profiler information and he won you as a trophy? Because to me, you're not a trophy. No woman in my life is ever a trophy. She is always a treasure and they're a couple in my lifetime that are an absolute fortune to me.